Okay, so um, the elk came down last night, and there uh, I could see them out the window on the other side of the pond. There's just a narrow road on the border of the pond, and on the other side is a, a pasture with uh, cattle uh, that are raised for beef. And every so often the elk will just simply move in, take over, and that's what they did today. So I, I took some pictures to, to show you. In this area, uh, I've been told there are like three herds that continually move through the area. And in the neighboring village, the people have complaining and are trying to figure out what to do with the elk because the elk keep coming into their yards and, you know, creating what, what is considered a disturbance. The elk don't understand. Uh, uh, I know someone who has <laughs> gotten out of her car in her own driveway to and had to walk through elk to get into the house. Uh, she said she wouldn't do it again, but uh, <laughs> but um, they they didn't bother her and um, but they're they're that common. So um, people, you know, sometimes get tired of seeing them around, but I don't get tired of seeing them around. Uh, they're like reminders of how things are supposed to be. As I looked at the uh, herd, it, it looked like there some of uh, there was going to be a good bounty of elk births in the uh, future from the sides of some of the the elk there. Most of them were female. Um, and they, some of them looked quite pregnant, I thought. I, I may be wrong, but uh, there's no shortage of elk here. Well, anyhow, so that's it. I got up in the morning and uh, looked out the window and there they were. And uh, I watched them for quite a long time. And then it started raining and I said, oh, nuts. Uh, but then it stopped raining and I got up and I went out and I took the picture. So there you go. I missed some other pictures by sitting here looking at them out the window too, but um, oh well. Anyhow, so there's the elk story for you.